cut the shimmers. Welcome back guys to Reviving Salvage um, In the last episode uh, we managed to get the car running I said I would and we did uh, Though it was running pretty bad uh, it, I don't think the problem is solved just yet But we're close to it uh, To solving the problem uh, I think today's episode uh, We're going to go back over everything I've done Just recheck in everything uh, I know we've taken the manifold off and when I've worked, looked on the, the workshop manual for this car it says when you take the, uh, the manifold off to put new seals on so that's what I've done, I've, put, I've, got, I've gone down to Volkswagen uh, my local dealer and bought um, new seals for the manifold just to put that back on and it's sealed properly uh, they cost £36.10 I think it was a bit of rubber seal but the must and there's nothing open really so we've got to get what we can get uh, before we crack on we're taking the manifold off and resealing it I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed now all the new subscribers and the ones that uh, has been with me from the start I really appreciate all your support and your comments thank you guys and keep it up uh, we're well on our way to 2,000 subscriber subscribers so we, we really want to get there by now the next two or three weeks at least uh, and I want to push for at least five to ten thousand subs this year guys so with your support and help we'll get there no problem at all so let's crack on with this car get this manifold off put new seals on it put it back on and we're also going to do um, a vacuum leak test now to do that what I've done a bit of research is come uh, like to be, to be honest I believe there might be a vacuum leak somewhere um, so we've got some brake cleaner, I've bought some brake cleaner which I have because I've run out and we're going to go around all the vacuum joints and spray a little bit on there and see if that uh, sucks it in and changes the engine note and that's how we detect if there's a leak so we're going to try that as well uh, today and see how we get on for time after that I've already put the car on diagnostics to check after I put it all together when it was running like this and it's not showing any faults at all so it's not detecting the misfire or the overfueling at the moment. Um, there's no two faults, no, no, no errors at all. So we might have killed it. It might just be a little vacuum leak. The only way to test it now is putting it all back together tidy, do the vacuum fault if there is one. But I just want to check anyway and take it out for a spin to see what errors come up after that. So let's crack on and get this manifold off. Remember these? Link in the description for them, guys. Excellent tool. There's one fault there guys, look, off. So, hopefully. That pipe that was off. So look at, that's obviously a vacuum fault right there. So this is why we go back over and check everything. So hopefully that might help. 
Yes. Might be a case that these seals might need to be replaced. Um, there's not one in there, but there's one on your. It might need just replacing. So, something I might have to look into. It. seals in there I was gonna do the throttle body one but I haven't really taken it off to potch with it to be honest with you so I don't know whether to leave it alone um, I think I might as well do it while I'm here now. We'll give that a little clean down guys and uh, refit the new seal. Old seal. Go on, get in there. a little clean. Got the carburetor cleaner and that's nothing stupid. We've replaced the seal on the throttle body and on the manifold so there shouldn't be any leaks from that now if, if there was any but we'll test for that once we put it all back again I just want the peace of mind that it all fits tidy got more or less everything come back in obviously some things are not quite where they need to be. Let's go for a start up and go from there. Let's do this guys. Okay. 
back to where we were. On, you know, obvious leaks. Um, it's not stopped in yet. So I'm sure it'll start splitting. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go around with some spray and see if we got any leaks, guys. See this, that's what I'm doing, is using some brake cleaner. Uh, and listening for some of the engine. Now what, it, what it's like to take it out for a spin. And we'll do that next. I can't, to be honest with you, I can't smell the film is mine. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this out for a little spin and just see how she performs. So there's no point in me filming it again. Are you going to? Get it down off the axle stand because she's on axle stands at the moment. Get it down, tidy it up a little bit, take it for a quick spin and see how she goes. Fingers crossed, we might have cured the problem guys. I doubt it though, but you never know. This is um, a couple of days later since that uh, video. I went out and test drove the car, guys. Um, seemed to be fine and then it started to uh, have the engine management light on and everything else and just the same faults basically with it uh, using so much fuel so as I said in my comments whether a lot of you have commented on the, the last video I had taken it to um, a specialist that deals in um, Audi's Volkswagen Skodas and things like that um, he basically done everything I've done, just to double check. Um, new spark plugs, everything, and it's still got an issue. Uh, he's put it down to um, the same thing that I was thinking it was after doing a lot of research. His injectors might be knackered. So that is causing it to overfill, pushing so much fuel through and obviously he's going through and causing the emissions fault and a lot of the the usage of the fuel. Uh, that is a side effect to having a faulty injector, but there's also rough idling, um, white smoke which is coming out the back, um, loss of power. I'm getting quite a lot of them uh, side effects, basically. <coughs> but not all of them. Now, I have changed everything on this car so far and this damn fixed the problem. The only thing I haven't done, which is what he said, was to do the injectors. Look guys, after this, I wasn't going to bother. After this, uh, seeing this guy, because if he couldn't fix it, then I wasn't going to bother. Sorry for the rattle in the garage, guys, it is quite windy. But, I think we got to give this a try. Got to give this uh, a try because it's going to kill me not knowing what the problem is. I don't know whether you guys want to know what it is too. Um, so I'm going to have a go at replacing the injectors to see if that works. Uh, so I'm going to, obviously the place where I get most of my parts is closed now over the weekend. So I'm going to order them on Monday. Uh, judging on the price, they probably going to be about 100 odd quid, I would have thought. Uh, I'm not going to film everything because you've seen me take the manifold off, but the injectors are right at the back of the engine. So, I'm going to try that, 
and if that doesn't work guys that is it for this car so as it stands it's going to be another video on it taking in taking out the injectors and replacing them if that works then we're going to continue with the car and do the oil leaks and the gearbox leaks and the drive shaft leak sort all that out clean the car because that is like you guys have obviously said that is pretty easy to do as in regards you know what the problem is just get on with it uh, but this has been going on and on and on and it needs to be either sorted or sold guys i know you you know you fed up with the car and fortunately it is what it is so we're going to continue with this car and have a go at these injectors uh, and see how if it fixes the problem if it does then i'll be over the moon obviously you know i'll be chuffed to bits if it doesn't well i'm gonna be gutted but the car will be going so it might only be one video on it possibly two uh if it does fix the issue then it's gonna be more and then we can crack on and flip this car so and also you'll get a solution to the problem guys because obviously you might have an issue like this one day and you know you know roughly what to look for i've replaced every sensor and i've also uh, off camera um bought new coils for it the other day which are there um they cost 117 quid for four new coils and that didn't solve the problem either so anyone say our oh, coil pack is an issue it's not so that was another thing that i've done because it was just eating me inside what it could be and obviously going on forums and reading what you guys are saying you, you know Okay, do this, do that. I've done mostly all the cheapest options. I even had a new cat, guys, and that didn't make any difference. I've subsequently taken the old cat out. Well, I say the old one, the old new one, uh, because it's not the correct one for the car. It doesn't fit properly. And I put the original O2 sensors back in, obviously, because OEM O2 sensors are obviously better. And I fixed the plug on the one. So all the cat is back in, I've just got to reseal it all. So that's later on, that's something else, but I've done that off camera. Put the cat back on, I want to try and keep it as original as possible and using the OEM parts. So, that is it. That's where we're at for this car at the moment. So, we will be taking out the injectors, like I've said about 50 times. We'll be taking out the injectors and seeing if it works. Uh, so what do you think of the garage, guys? Uh, I put this on Instagram. Uh, the other day, I say not this, but the shelf is in the boxes. Um, I come home from work the one night, and my uh, wife had come home and bought shelving from Aldi's. Fair play, it's only plastic, but really strong, Oop. really strong and sturdy, and it also keeps all the stuff off the floor. And there's a little, there's all my stuff on it at the moment, so I think it makes a massive difference to the garage. I've got bags of space in here now to move around plenty of room and everything else so obviously lighting is going to be my next issue that I am looking into lighting I've been suggested a few things off uh, Mr. Love 500 if you haven't uh, seen his channel pop across to him he does Fiat 500s uh, and he suggested a couple of uh, LED lights from Amazon and things so Nip across to him if I haven't seen his channel. He's uh, he's doing well on there, flipping 500. It's quite regular. So yeah, I'm probably taking him up on what he said and probably get some solar panel light in, but uh, and screw it to the ceiling. I could probably get two, and and that should brighten it up in here. And then I obviously use that light then to get into the engine bay. I'm gonna start looking into some new equipment, guys, because this is broken now. This is my stand. And I do use my phone to film everything. Uh, it's not ideal. So eventually I will be looking at some new equipment to try and get better quality pictures for you guys and images and things. Obviously we want to make a channel really as best as possible. Painting the garage is something I'm going to hold off on to uh, until this car is gone and then we wait in. While we wait in for a new car or a new project, we can do everything we need to do in here then. But that's way off. Like I said, we're gonna crack on and do this. We've gotta be positive, guys. 
people have said they uh, they, they can't believe uh, my patience and uh, how I can carry on with this car and why don't just either chuck it back into coal part or um, pass it, put it into auction or whatever I don't really want to be passing um, passing it on to someone else if I was going to uh, put it into auction and that I would list the faults as because I, I am honest and I wouldn't want anyone buying this under false pretenses uh, and they'd probably be going as spares or repairs like I said, if I can't get this fixed, guys, you're welcome to in inbox me on, mess on um, Instagram if you're interested in the car. Uh, and I, you know, if you off if you do offer me anything, I might consider it. Obviously, it's going to be a reasonable price. So like I said, this is a 1.4 TFSI with full dealer service history with 51,000 miles on the clock now, and it's a 2013-14 Audi A1. Uh, so it's a really good car, <laughs> apart from this stupid fault that could be easily solved. If I can't solve it or do it, then obviously one of you guys might be able to. So it will be going if it doesn't get fixed, but it'll be listed with the faults. It's got a full MOT on it. So it's a really good car. It just needs a little bit more time and effort. Like I said, I don't give up that easily. And to me, I know it's not failing by passing on to someone else, but ultimately the goal is to repair cars and flip them and you should be able to repair everything that comes along and if you uh, to me my own personal choice is if I can't fix it then I shouldn't be doing these type of things anyway um, so that's where I look at it so that's where we're at um, if you like the channel guys please subscribe uh, I really want to get to at least five to ten thousand subscribers this year so by subscribing you really help the channel to grow um, also I like I said I want to invest more in the in the channel so whatever any purchases off my shop or any of the tools that you do see or purchase are all um, are all in my description um, and obviously all the proceeds from that go straight back into the channel to help fund this because this is one hell of a money pit and to try and get better equipment for you guys like i'm starting from scratch as you know if you've been following me from day one i've had nothing uh, my first socket set was from argos and that's what i used for a while and i'm slowly buying tools to do jobs when i need them and obviously starting off is really really difficult you now we got a garage guys i gotta pay for this you know every week it's not cheap so you know we need you guys support to fund all this as well guys so any any help I would really appreciate and you can help by viewing the videos uh, liking the videos that way you're pushing my content up there so YouTube know that you're enjoying it and they'll put it out for more people to see that way you're helping me guys so please share the videos as well as much as you can like share and subscribe guys that's all you need to do and support me i would be truly grateful guys like always comment below on what you think uh, about the injector fault do you think it is like i said the guy i spoke to who have had it for two days seems to think it's an injector fault he couldn't believe how fast it actually goes Obviously, because it's rushing so much fuel through, it, uh, it it was going faster than the Scirocco he had. So, <laughs> and it's only a 1.4, but he said it absolutely flies. But obviously, the gauge for the fuel goes right down as well. So, obviously, driving it around is not doing it any good. It's obviously put an added wear and tear to the engine. Um, so, that's something we need to uh, make sure we don't do anymore. So, the car is in the garage now. It's going to be locked up and, like I said, all of the parts to crack on. Tell me what you think. Do you think it's the injectors or do you think it could be something else? I've read a lot of your comments and a lot of stuff I have changed. So that is it for this video. I have rambled on loads. Uh, I know I've gone over the manifold, taking it apart, putting it in and all this on other videos. But I, I thought I'd put it on there, showing, show changing the seals to show that I am 
changing everything correctly and just replacing all seals when it needs to like it says it does say in the Audi workshop to replace seals every time you take them off so that is what I do guys and it's also documenting everything that I do for the next owner to show that this car has had everything needed done to it to be actually uh, everything done to it to be spot on I don't try and cut corners so thank you all for subscribing thank you all for watching guys and I'll see you all next week guys with another video from Reviving Salvage take care guys Cheers!